What's going on simplifiers and we are back again with the new things backward difference in numerical methods. So let's simplify. So over here we've been given the following data and then we are supposed to compute for the first and second derivative of 0 0.5. Alright, and then this is the data that we've been given. And then this is the equation from which this data was derived, all right? So now let's say or let's assume that in case, in case, in case you are not given this, this table over here, you will have to draw this table by yourself, right? Now, how do you do that? This is a very simple equation here. Xi equals x naught plus hi. And then xi is the first value or the first value of x. H is the step length and I is the value from 1 to whatever. So over here you can see we have H here to be 1, X not to be 1, and then I from 1 to 3. That means if the X values ends as 3. But you can see in this case the X starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So if in case we were not given this table here, we'll have to derive this table from the equation over here. So from here we can continue that if i is equal to 1, then we can find for x x1, which will be x0 plus i times h, which will give us 2. And then when i is equal to 2, that's when we want to find for x2. We can also go ahead and find the value for x2. And then we can go ahead and also find when i is 3 to find the value of x3. And you know that we will be given the values over here when i beginning from 1 to 3. So when you find for your x values, okay, you take the x value. You put it inside this equation or the equation that you'll be given in the question. You put it inside to find for your f of x value. So let's come back to the table that we've been given here. So in this question, we've been already be, we have been given the table. So we don't have to go through this whole hassle here to derive our own table. So we've been given we are fortunate enough to be given the table here. So over here, to find for our x naught, we will start from x naught here, then x one, x two, x two x3 and then x4 so these are our x values so we don't have to find them we have already been given these values in the table okay so we don't have to look for them so you can see that this is how we find for our f of x values if i put the 0.1 value inside this equation i'm going to get 1.4 if i put the 0.2 here inside this equation i'm going to get 1.56 and then it goes on and on until x4 right so that's how we find for this table. That is, if you are not given the value, but in this case, you have been given the value. So I just want to take you through in case we are not given the table, all right? So with the Newton's backward difference, this is the first derivative. So to find the first der derivative, this is the formula that we go by, all right? We'll go through this so it doesn't have to scare you. And then for the second derivative, this is the formula that we also go by, all right? Now be, rem be reminded that the issue that we have over here is the step length. Now, you can also see that the difference or the interval between these x values is actually the same, right? It's the same between 0 0.1 and then 0 0.2. The interval is the same between 0 0.2 and then 0 0.3. So, we can conclude that the step length, which is the h, is equal to 0 0.1, okay? Because the, the intervals are actually the same throughout from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead now. Just as we did in the forward difference in the previous video, we are also going to draw a table to find for these variables you see here. You can see we have these variables inside the equation. We'll have to find them. And then once we find them in our table, we come and input those values inside the equation to compute for the for the for the question that we have been asked for to find for the 0 0.5. Alright. So we draw the table and then we take the values from the table and then we put the values inside the equation to make it simple for ourselves. So Fast forward, let's move to the table. So the table is given this way. This is the question from the question that we've been given. This is, I've just kind of moved it from horizontal to vertical. So this is the table that we were given. The x values are here, and this, are, this is the f of x values. So let's go ahead to find the other variables which were in the equation for the first derivative, the second derivative, and then if there is others. So we we'll go ahead. Remember, this is the backward difference, all right? So with the backward difference, just as we did for the forward difference, you take these two, then find the difference, all right? <laughs> just find the difference between just these two values, all right? And then put the solution here. So we go, which is 0 0.16. Find the difference between these two values and put the solution here. We go again, 0 0.20. Find the difference between these two values and put the solution here. 0 0.24. Find the difference between these two values and put the solution here. 
you move ahead okay now you move to the second one which is the, the squared find the difference between these two values and put the solution here all right the difference between these two values and put the solution over here the difference between these two values and put the solution over here all right so just like that find a difference and then put it over there and again find the difference between these two and then well, put the solution over there so for the two of them it's all be zero zero if you, if you continue you still get zero because zero minus zero will still be zero all right okay so as i as i as i indicated earlier we said that the step length which is the the h value is what is 0 0.1 because the difference between these two values and these two values and these two values and these two values is the same which is the same as 0 0.1 so the step length which is h is 0 0.1 all right so let's move ahead and let's put these values that we've had inside the formula that we were given so to find for the first derivative this is the formula that i showed you before so now it doesn't look scary right so we're going to put in the values we know the value for h to be 0 0.1 then we know for fn that's the if i take um is it delta or omega this is the, the the reverse form of the delta if i take this one and i look over here now we'll be reminded that we are taking from the backwards so if i go back the first screen the value that we are taking is going to be backwards be reminded that from the previous video when it was the forward difference we took it this way right we took it this way but for the backward difference we are taking it this way we are taking it from the back so we are taking these values these values over here all right we are taking these values but remember that for the forward difference we took the values on top right we took these values but for the backward difference we are taking these values that's the difference so always be reminded that for the backward difference right for the backward difference we take the the values down here and then for the forward difference which is in the previous video we took the values on top here the values on top so that's the main difference backward is these values so we are taking these values and then for the forward difference is these values all right so let's go on and pick our values so for the first derivative which is this one is going to be the value over here which is the 0 0.28 so I told you backwards, backwards. So the back, the down value, 0 0.28. And then the squared here, they're going to pick the 0 0.04. And then the rest are all going to be zeros, as you can see from here. All right. They put them in here. They are going to get three. And if you solve it manually, if I take the exact solution, let's see what we are going to get. This is the equation that we will give, which is y equals 2x squared plus x plus 1.28. Alright. If I solve it manually, if I want to find a fair derivative of this, it's going to be 4x 4x plus 1 right and if i put a 0 0.5 inside i'm going to get 3 so let's see from there so i'm going to get 4x plus 1 for the first derivative and then for the x value we are looking for is 0 0.5 so if i put a 0 0.5 inside here right i'm going to get the final solution to be 3 you can see that it actually works right the newton's difference backward difference actually works right so you can find we've actually found for the value now we can move on to the second derivative was the formula that we were given but again we are taking it from the back right the back so the square here is going to be the 0 0.04 then the cube here is going to be zero the four here is also going to be zero right any other value else is also going to be zero we know the h to be 0 0.1 so if i move on the x value i'm looking for is 0 0.5 right and if i put it in you can see that half their value here to be four now if i solve it manually the exact solution this is going to be 4 because the second derivative of this one is going to be 4. So there's no need to even put in the 0 0.5 value. We know that the answer obviously is going to be 4. Alright. So friends, in the first video or in the previous video, when we were doing about the forward difference, we said that we are taking the values from the top. Alright. And then for the backward difference, we are taking the values from below. Like the down values, the, the, volume, the, the values at the bottom. So that's the major difference between the two. And then when you find these values, you put it inside the formula that you'll be given and then ta-da there you go you have your solution so friends that's it basically for this video see you in the next video just like the video and share with your friends if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section until next time apatia